What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's video, I'm going to do a bacon wrap pork tenderloin. Now, I originally planned to glaze it with an apricot glaze that is just phenomenal. However, um, I threw away my apricot preserve last night, <laughs> not realizing I was going to need it today. But that's okay, because I'm going to take a barbecue sauce. I'm going to mix it with some rib candy. We're going to glaze it with that. It's going to go great on this pork. I can't wait to try it. Let's get started. All right, so here we have a 2.62-pound uh, pork tenderloin from Smithfield. We've got a pound of bacon here, or uh, 12 ounces of bacon. I, and I'm going with regular cut. I'm not going with thick cut. And the reason I'm going with regular cut is because uh, I'm not expecting this to take long. So I want to make sure that the bacon is done at the same time that the pork loin is done. So we're going to get this out of the way. I'm going to get this out of the package. I'm not going to do a ton of trim, but I am going to trim off some of the silver skin off of here, some of the fat, but I'm not going to get too carried away. So let's get it out of the package, get it trimmed up and see what it looks like. All right. So I didn't realize it was two pork loins, so I'm not going to need both. I'm only going to go with one. So probably, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'll get the silver skin removed here and here. And then uh, I think that's going to be about it. So we're going to take this and just kind of take a knife and get right under this silver skin. And I want to remove that so we can get some seasoning on this meat. Again, we're not going to do a ton of trim into this. But I do want to get some of this fat off and some of this silver skin. If you happen to leave some on, it's not that big of a deal. Just try to get right under here. And get that right off. There you go. Try not to take off too much of the meat. Oh, we got a little more here. We want to get off. Let's see. There's some fat here. Um, eh, try to take a little bit of it off. This isn't that bad. I think we'll be all right. So I think that's going to be about it. I am going to try to trim this up so I'm gonna cut the little piece off here and then just a small piece on this end just trying to make it even you can leave that on if you want but I know for me and the missus this is gonna be more than enough so I can go ahead and afford to get rid of a little bit so that's our pork tenderloin that's all the trim we're gonna do it uh, do to it I am going to season this up and I'm actually going to use some It's Incredible from Heaven Made Products. I really, really like this stuff. So I think this goes great on a bunch of things. So I'm going to use it on this pork. So get that. Again, no binder. Just going to take it. Apply it straight onto the pork. I'm telling you guys, this is incredible. It gives it tons of flavor. And it's great on everything. So that's that. Next thing we're going to do is get the bacon and get it wrapped up. All right, so I got my bacon here. And uh, I'm just going to start wrapping it right around this pork loin. Wrap it all the way around, overlap it if you can. You wanna make sure you try to overlap it. We'll take another piece here. I'm gonna place this under the bottom. I 
and then just wrap it around. And I'm going to do this all the way down this whole end of pork loin. So we'll take another piece. I'm going to put this under the bottom here. Again, I want the these end pieces to be on the bottom so that way when I put it on the grill it kind of holds in place. We have that. Wrap it around. And then just go until you get the whole thing covered up with bacon. All right, so I have the pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon. At this point, I'm gonna come back and I'm actually gonna use some uh, Texas Best Rib Rub from Heaven Made Products right here. Cause I really like this on pork. And I'm just gonna cover this bacon or this pork tenderloin with some of this Texas Best Rib Rub. Now you can use whatever rub you like. These are just a couple of rubs that I absolutely like. If you notice, I'm putting some on the bottom here so that when I roll it back over, the bottom of the uh, bacon gets covered. Just roll it back over. And just give it a good covering. And that's it. Again, use whatever rubs you like. These are just a couple of my favorite rubs. So... I'm using these rubs. Now I'm going to let this sweat in for a bit. I'm going to get the Weber fired up. And then we're going to get this bad boy on. Get it cooked up. Get it glazed up. And it's going to be good. Got the pork tenderloin on. I'm using my Sloan's here. I've added some uh, cherry wood chips that I soaked in water for about 30 minutes. That's going to be my smoke. Now the key to cooking the perfect pork loin is to monitor that internal temp. So that's why I have the thermometer in there. I also have one in here to monitor the temp of the pit. I'm gonna get the lid on. I got the bottom vents halfway open. I'm gonna have the top vent halfway open. I'm just gonna let it run and uh, you know monitor. We'll check back in about 30 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, so the glaze that I'm gonna use for this bacon wrap pork tenderloin is I got this uh, Texas pepper jelly uh, barbecue sauce from uh, Craig's, Craig Sherry. He makes that, and he also makes the, the rib candy. I'm going to go with the pineapple habanero. So I've got a little bit of each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and add it right to the sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of this because there's not a whole lot left. So we'll get that in there. I'm going to get the lid on the sauce we're going to mix it up we're going to mix this up really good give it a good shake and this is going to be what we use to glaze that pork tenderloin all right this pork loin is at 135 i'm going to glaze it i've got this craig sherry sauce here that i mix with the uh, pineapple habanero pepper jelly you get that right over the top. Give it a nice coating. I'm not even gonna have to brush it. I'm just gonna coat it really good. Get the lid back on. And we'll pick back up once it reaches 145, we're gonna pull it. All right, this pork loin is done. It's uh, It hit 145 degrees. Just pulled it off nice glaze looks amazing i'm gonna let it rest for just a bit and then we're gonna cut into it all right so we're gonna cut into this see what it looks like cut some bite-sized pieces real quick i'm not gonna cut the whole thing just a few pieces to take a taste test just look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at this, you guys. Let's see if you can see this. This thing is moist. Let's kind of zoom in. 
Can you make this out? I hope you can make that out. This thing is moist. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's good. Got a piece here. Ooh, doggy, it's hot, hot, hot. Still moist, look at that. You can see how moist it is right there. Perfect. We're gonna cut into, cut into this and give it a quick taste. All right, so we're gonna give it a quick taste. I hope you can see this, how moist it is. There you go. Ooh, it's dripping. This is moist, let's give it a shot. That's excellent. <clears throat> Great flavor, there's some heat from that pineapple habanero. But the moisture, good gosh, that moisture in that, that pork loin is perfect. Again, if you cook it to about 145, 185, it should always turn out moist. That's excellent. This, man, let me flip this around and give you another shot of this real quick. You can see how moist it is. Look at all that juice on the board. The juice in the pork loin, look at that. That is excellent. This piece here. Ooh, oh, that's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> that's still really hot. But you can see all the moisture in this pork loin here. Look at that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This pork loin turned out great. That pork loin turned out perfect. Great flavor. Nice little heat. But tons of moisture. This pork is not dried out at all which is the way it should be so that's good you know one more bite mm. damn it that's good monitor the internal temp 145 it'll come out perfect every time i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys next time take care